Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to go ahead and rainbow the Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, the 6 year anniversary login gift right here. Uh, this unit is pretty good, considering the way you get him is you just log in the game, and that's it. Uh, I would say he's actually uh, quite decent, so... We're going to go ahead and give him a rainbow star. Uh, we will probably go ahead and test him out a little bit. Uh, see how effective he can be. Again, I want to make sure that his links are pretty much across a consistent five. Is he done already? I might actually be ready to hop right in. Yeah, this looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and test this guy out. Uh, rainbow star, level five links, and see how good this mastered UI Goku can be. All right, guys, so we're here in an event fighting Angel, Golden, Frieza, and we're starting off on the Universal Survival Saga team. Obviously, uh, pretty good for this UI Goku. I mean, one thing you can mention about this SCR UI Goku is that there's only two just Ultra Instinct Gokus in the game, whereas there's only one Evolution Blue Vegeta. So, you know, everyone's going to get the UI Goku for free, but, like, if you want to have a standalone Evolution Blue Vegeta card, you do have to summon for that Vegeta, right? So, all right. Um, with this LR UI Goku, we have five out of six links. Uh, obviously, the Int uh, UI Goku will share six out of six, so... Uh, the second team will run, we'll go ahead and run him, but obviously either one will work fine. Although the one link we don't have active is First Awakened, which is definitely one of the stronger links in the game, right? At least in terms of attack, because what is it at link level 10? 25% attack and 10% defense, so uh, definitely very, very good there. So, alright, let's go ahead and see uh, how much damage our boy UI Goku can do. Uh, remember that he does increase his defense for 6 turns on super attack, so his defense is going to get higher. 778k, huh? It's not the craziest. So, this Goku, he raises defense for 6 turns on super attack, so his defense will be higher next turn. Uh, he gets 66% attack and defense at the start of turn. Uh, then he gets another 66% attack and a 50% chance of dodging enemy attacks for 6 turns from the start of turn. And then he gets 11% attack with every attack performed. So, they did design him in sort of an interesting way where he will sort of... Uh, how do I say? I, I guess, like, like he loses that passive, but then he sort of has a buildup that should sort of offset that. So his damage, I think, for the most part, probably will be pretty consistent. Um, he's good. For, for, for like, a free-to-play unit that they literally just hand out for free, and, like, you know, in order to get all the copies of him, you just play the game. You're just doing the normal missions. Uh, I would say it's not really a, a big deal the way he's set up. Like, I, I think he's actually quite good for uh, how easy he is to obtain, right? Like, you definitely could have, like, way more... Like, this guy could be way worse, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, like, his name is of a premium character, you know, Goku Ultra Instinct. So, uh, I do like the setup we have here. Alright, so let's see what his defense is this turn. Uh, 57k, I mean, that is really not the greatest, um, obviously at full level 10 links, we'd be a bit better, because Tournament of Power, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce, uh, First Awakened, uh, all give defense, right, so he'd be able to get a little bit of extra defense, but, I mean, we are more so relying upon his dodge anyway, like, dodge is gonna be, I, I think, the most important thing with him, um, he potentially, I think, could be okay enough, though, that he could be, like, your last unit on the team, and help you sort of take down, you know, say, I don't know, like, the reps of Universe 7 Super Battle Road stage or something like that. I, I do think he's sort of good enough to uh, help you get that done, right? Um, all right, we are blitzing through this event uh, quite fast. <laughs> I guess it's not really too surprising. I mean, the Universal Survival Saga team, reps of Universe 7, like, all these teams are now just so ridiculously overpowered. There's so many insane units like, it's like, Dokkan events just go down like this. Like, pretty much every single turn. Uh, I think... Oh, boy. Yeah, an Angel Golden Frieza. Uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult for Angel Golden Frieza not to die here. Hmm. I guess at the very least, I can do... This. I should be able to miss an attack at least with Evolution Blue Vegeta. I think we're done here. I, I, th I think... I think this fight is over already. Just we one-turned every phase of Golden Frieza here. If, like, Vegeta doesn't go crazy with the additionals and stuff, I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe, depending upon how much we look at Goku, uh, the second team we'll do is Realm of Gods. 
Uh, depending upon how much we look at him over there, maybe I'll I'll pop into one more event and we'll take a, a quick look at him. Maybe on like uh, Goku Family or Kamehameha or one of these teams. As long as Godzilla doesn't like double super or crit or something like that. Okay, cool, we're good. Because um, next turn we'll have uh, LR Master Roshi. Remember, LR Master Roshi is a support type unit um, for Turtle School category characters, which obviously this uh, UI Goku is. So, all right. He's up to 83k defense here. Not bad. Uh, definitely not bad at all. That That's, again, his defense going up on his super attacks. So, uh, I, I, I like him. I do. Um, I don't know that I would really change anything about him, considering, again, he's just, you log in and you got him. Uh, his passive is definitely still up, because, you know, from his first appearance for six turns, he has the extra attack and then the 50% chance to dodge. One million attacks right there. Okay, I mean... He's not putting up the most damage. He just randomly got hit every single time there. Okay. It's a little bit odd, but sure. Yeah, he again, he does have a coin flip uh, to dodge every single uh, potential attack that would come in, again, for those first six turns. All right, so now we are on the Realm of Gods team led by Into UI Goku's uh, EZA, of course, where he gives the 160% uh, to Realm of Gods. So I would probably say he is the ideal leader. Beerus can give you a little bit of extra stats, but Into UI Goku will definitely work much better with presumably like the full sort of like Saiyan build you're going to want to go with, you know, potentially like physical Vegito Blue or the LR Tech Vegito Blue and LR Gogeta Blue, you know, those types of characters are going to work much better with uh, in UI Goku uh, rather than like Beerus, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Although if you're fighting a Realm of Gods category enemy, Beerus becomes a Rainbow Orb Changer, which is very good at that point, right? So, all right. So with in UI Goku, we now have all six links active, which means we're going to get First Awakened, one of the very big attack links. So I do expect uh, Goku to do a little bit more damage here. Plus, we're on a 160% lead this time, whereas previously we're on the 150% lead. Again, I like... Oh, damn. It's a shame that wasn't a super attack right there. That still counts as an attack performed, though. So that will give Goku... Like, that additional gives him that extra little attack buff. Um, I, I do want to explain, too, that I feel like, for the most part, in most situations, uh, LR Full Power Jiren is just a far superior leader for the Universal Survival Saga team than any of the other options, right? So even though Blue Kaioken Goku does indeed give a little bit extra stats to it, uh, I, it doesn't matter to me. Like, Jiren is just, I think, a much better fit for that team, just much stronger overall, and it's just a much better overall team with Jiren as the lead. So that's why, like, even for showcases, I do sort of like to do that is for that reason, right? Now, I'll be curious, what, what links do we have for Inui Goku right here? Okay, so we've got a lot. As you guys can see, I'm working on my Int UI Goku to get him uh, finished. So I could do the level 10 link showcase for him. But uh, I've been having some issues getting him uh, done. I'm having trouble with the last couple links. Yeah, basically 4 mil right there. Okay. Basically 4 million turn 1 for him is pretty good. Uh, he To say he got a powerful EZA I think is a very big understatement. Uh, he looks very, very ultra impressive. Um, okay, so this will be a good turn for STR UI Goku. Um, remember that the EZA AGL Blue Goku at the end right here um, is a Realm of Gods support type unit. If your full rotation is Realm of Gods, that's going to be good for us. Uh, what's his defense? 62k. So that defense, eh, the, the buff is a little slow to go up. And again, remember, all of his links are active right here. It's going to be interesting to see when they finally decide to awaken uh, several of these anniversary login characters too, by the way. The, the Int Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the Physical Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, now the STR Ultra Instinct Goku, all of them uh, are only just SSRs. Uh, the original Anniversary Super Saiyan Goku, he got an awakening into Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Goku for the second year anniversary, but all the others are just like random SSRs right now. So it would be nice for them to get awakenings and then be like actually decent units, but uh, we'll see what Dokkan has in mind in the future. Oh, this is perfect. I'll be able to avoid super attacking on this rotation right here. So we'll definitely be able to get um, an additional turn of UI Goku. Unless all three of these units, like, double super, double crit, which they didn't. Okay, perfect. This animation, like, came out in 2019. It's not 2021. And this is still one of the better animations in the game, I feel like. That just looks so good. Like, that whole, like, the camera spin to, like, in front of Cooler's face is just so very good. So very impressive. So, all right. Let's do one more turn with our boy STR UI Goku, um, and then we'll go ahead and look at his details and finish up. Uh, this is a good rotation for sure. 
because again we do have supremo pie of time one of the better support type units he's up to almost 100k defense with a 50 percent chance to dodge again all six links of his active so again this is a very good turn um for this str ui goku let's see what attacks that he will go ahead and put up right here and there's that dodging kicking in 1.46 so considering his 50 percent chance to dodge his free to play nature his good link set uh, I, I do think he's fine. I, I don't really have any issues whatsoever with this unit. I think he they did a pretty good job with him overall. Uh, his leader skill, too, is Reps of Universe 7, Category Key 3, and 66% of stats. So you see all these, like, number 6s all over his kit. That, of course, is obviously because he's, you know, the 6-year anniversary free unit, right? Alright, so this is Surprising Even the Gods, Goku Ultra Instinct. His leader skill is Reps of Universe 7, Category Key 3, and 66% of stats. Uh, his super attack is the Kamehameha, which does supreme damage to the enemy and raises defense for 6 turns. His passive skill, Potential Unlocked, gives him 66% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets another 66% attack and a 50% chance, a high chance, of dodging enemy attacks for 6 turns from the start of turn and then he gets another 11 percent attack with every attack performed up to a max of 66 percent so uh if you give him additionals like that'll help him build his defense up a bit faster and build up that last attack part of his passive faster but at the same time like you know crits are always very very important for damage as well um his links are kamehameha godly power over in a flash prepared for battle the first awakened and tournament of power so of course he does have a very good link set the same link set as in ui goku minus fierce battle so obviously that's really really good uh his 12k multiplier is 130 percent that's a bit low um i mean it's not really the biggest deal ever right uh because obviously he's only an ssr but i mean that still is is a lower number than we're used to seeing well i don't know because and he's not like a banner unit or anything like that right so yeah there's that um, and then finally, our boy is on a lot of category teams, as UI Goku is. Uh, so for starters, he's on the Universal Survival Saga team. Uh, definitely a lot better after this anniversary, no doubt about that. Team's getting pretty ridiculous. Uh, he is also over here on the Pure Saiyan team. Obviously, the anniversary has had some uh, pretty good additions to it, plus the Int UI Goku EZA as well. Pretty big for the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, Goku is also on the Realm of Gods team. Where, you know, obviously Realm of Gods and one of these teams is where he's going to help be very, very good. Uh, he's also on Representatives of the Universe 7, another category team that's just 100 times better after this anniversary. He's also over here on the Goku Family team. Again, like, he's on just a lot of these, like, obvious teams that are just going to get buffed, like, every single time, every update, forever, right? Uh, then he's also on Kamehameha, another addition for Kamehameha, obviously is good. Uh, people still think this is the best category in the game, at which, I mean... After the anniversary, I feel like Kamehameha, like, lost ground on Realm of Gods and, like, Pure Saiyans and stuff like that. Uh, then, of course, there's also the Turtle School category. This is a new one of these categories where we're going to see this get updated constantly now, where, like, every single Goku unit is going to end up being on the Turtle School category. Uh, Goku is also down here on the... What team is this? This is Miraculous Awakening? Yeah, this, this is Miraculous Awakening. This is uh lrui goku's leader skill uh remember that tech trunks was added to it because the int spirit bomb sword trunks is on there and then now this tech trunks is also on there on the miraculous awakening category uh definitely not the not the biggest fan of this one um maybe if, if there was a better namek goku yeah a, a really powerful namek goku like lr you know best unit in the game contender would help this category out a lot for sure right uh and then finally Goku is also on the Power of Revival team. Uh, this, of course, is LR Evolution Blue Vegeta's team, and I would say his category uh, is superior to the LR uh, UI Goku category. So there we go. There is this STR free-to-play UI Goku. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.